are expected to begin tomorrow in the trial of Dr. Robert Ferrante. The man is accused of killing his wife with cyanide, as you'll recall. Tonight, Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Marcy Cipriani has some new information about the jury selected and the evidence that panel Marcy is going to be hearing starting tomorrow. You're live downtown. Yeah, Wendy, the final jurors, those four alternates, were chosen rather quickly today. In fact, they were picked in about an hour, putting tomorrow's opening statements right on schedule. Now, those opening statements are set to be the beginning of what is expected to be a three-week trial for 66-year-old Robert Ferrante. The now former medical researcher for the University of Pittsburgh is charged with poisoning his wife, Dr. Autumn Klein, with cyanide in April of last year. Ferrante briefly fled Pennsylvania after his wife's death, but was arrested in West Virginia and has been in jail since. The jury will consist of eight men and four women, with the alternates being three women and one man. During the trial, prosecutors say they will call 60 witnesses and focus on the dozens of search warrants served during the investigation. The defense, led by attorney Bill Diffenderfer, plans to focus their case on science and experts who will testify about the cause of Klein's death. Now, we not, have not heard personally from the prosecutors or the defense in this case for some time because the judge issued a gag order. But today, Judge Jeffrey Manning, Manning said that he plans to lift that gag order when opening statements begin tomorrow. Live downtown, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.